Hey, what is going on Twintendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome back to my Pokemon Moon Let's Play. We're on to episode 3. I know I'm probably really far behind everyone else, but I didn't want to overload you guys with videos, so I just thought we'd take it slow with this playthrough. Although I do plan to upload more episodes tomorrow. I'm planning to upload around 2 today, and maybe we'll go around for 4 tomorrow. Who knows? We're just going to take it slow, as I said. But today's episode, I want to catch our first Pokemon. And I know we've got Poplio, but I mean properly catch our you know, first Pokemon with a Pokeball. So, we're going to Trainer School, which is in the first town, Iki Town. Now, apparently you can catch Pichus there, and as you know, I really want an Alolan Raichu. Hold on a moment, let me show you the Pokemon Center first, okay. Basically, with Pokemon Sun and Moon, because I've I played on a, another save file before, it's very tutorial-based, heavily tutorial-based early on. For the first three hours or so, and it is quite dull, so, when it comes to tutorials, I'm not really going to talk through them. I'm, I'm assuming most of you guys have played Pokemon before, and when you pick up the game yourself, if you've never played, you'll, you'll understand how it works. But yeah, for the first three hours, it's a bit of a drag, and then everything else after that is amazing. Like, it's easily the best Pokemon game I've played in ooh, over a decade. I mean, hmm, I think, well, actually, almost over a decade, because I'd say um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, which are probably my favourites, was the last really really good Pokemon game for me although you know black and white too I've never played that and apparently that's really good as well so but that's you know that's just my opinion it's basically a lot of people are saying it's one of the best in a long time so I, I just can't wait to actually properly play this just sat down because I had to speed through it to get a few uh, clips together and stuff here we are you see the trainer school is it's uh, uh what in the world it's a Taurus now, if you played the demo, you know you get to ride one of those later, and it's so helpful. Probably preferred the bike over the Tauros, but it's still really cool. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. But we were only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. So basically, the plan for this episode, guys, is I'm going to do the trainer school part, and then I'm going to go try and find a Pichu on my own, and I'll cut back to when I do find a Pichu if I do. Well, I hope, hopefully I do. Hey there, James. I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Like I said, this is very, you know, tutorial based, so I won't, like, be here too long, hopefully. Professor Kuki, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the ringer, Teach. Four trainers. You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, James. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Yeah! Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? And this is how early you get the EXP share. Now, when I got this, I was so worried that the game was going to be really easy, like X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It's not, thankfully. If you keep that EXP share on, or, yeah, I guess it's EXP share, is that how you say it? Um, all the Pokemon on your team can get XP points from battle. Basically, this is just a tutorial. I'm going to skip through this, guys. I've got to beat four trainers and... That's pretty much it. Now, I think I know where these trainers are, if I do remember. There is one up the side here, which was hidden for me for a while. I didn't think to search up here. But after, the, like I said, after training school, we'll get Pichu, and we'll try and build our team relatively early. I want a Rockruff, and it took me probably, I think I completed the game before I realized where you can actually catch them, because I'm such a noob. But um, no, um, Rockruff is definitely one of the best Pokemon you can get. Well, I mean, Lycan Rock is. But Rockruff is still a very cool Pokemon to have early on. So Poplio, we should have this battle. They're quite high level, but we should be good. I mean, it's 1v1, level 10 versus level 8. We've got this, guys, in the bag. Picky Peck, I'm not sure if I want one. Do you know what? It's always better to have more Pokemon than, you know, one. So if I run into a picky peck, I will pick that up as well. No pun meant that. I did not mean that. Um, no pun intended. So that's one trainer down. We've got three more to go. And I know there's definitely one in the school. And there's one outside. In fact, no, I've just remembered where the last one is. It took me forever to find the last one. So there's a little girl here. Boy, you're awfully close. All right. Sorry, kid. Got attitude problems at such a young age. So we'll uh, we'll beat some sense into her. 
But I, I just love this game, guys. If you, I mean, I feel so, so bad. I like the people in Europe. Well, I mean, I, I live in Europe and I'm, I luckily, you know, modded my 3DS. Well, the eShop to change it to Australia and stuff. Get it early. But it's not fair. Like, people have to wait five days extra when people are even getting the games now in the UK. They're getting it shipped early. So it just goes to show they didn't really need to delay it. So for anyone who's in Europe watching, I feel really sorry for you, but you're going to love the game. So it's definitely worth the wait if that makes you feel any better. Um, the next trainer battle, I've been through all the, the upstairs and downstairs. It's this kid here. who I, I just never saw him. But yeah, all the upstairs is basically just teaching you all type advantages and like status effects. So if you're new to Pokemon, it's fantastic. It's a really good tutorial. But for me, I've played Pokemon for, well, at least known about Pokemon since I was like five and played it since I was eight. Then it's, it's, um, it's not really needed to train a school, but it's, it's good that they've got it in the game. So Metapod, I mean, if you've got one Pokemon and it's Metapod, you know you're in for a bad time. Although it can actually attack me, fair play. It's like having one magic arc and expecting to get places in the world. It doesn't happen. Only that one magic arc in the anime, which was crazy good. Make it beat Pikachu, if I remember. It was in the um, the Sinnoh um, series. Damn and Pearl, even. What am I about? But it's crazy. Or was it in Sinnoh? Is it even Sinnoh, or it was even Battle Frontier? It was one of the one of the two. But that went down in history, that magic up is the best magic up that ever lived. So yeah, just a few more tutorials. That's why I kind of want to wind through, because a lot of people watching this will be like, I play Pokemon, we get it. Um, how many people have I beaten now? A oh, three, so this should be this guy. Here we go. Like a proper battlefield, like the ones you see in the anime, it's quite cool. You want to know why I want to be the strongest? Because it's cool to be strong, duh. Okay, we've got this in the bag. When you like come off as an arrogant, you know, what's the word for this kid? Just an ass, I guess. Um, you know you're gonna lose. And he's got a Grimer as his Pokemon, really. Like, he wants to be strong, yet yeah, he's got a Grimer. And that's kind of a, a bit of a oxymoron, bit of a ironic statement. So oh, I should have used um. Let's try this again. I think that's some gleams a good. Uh, not that's some gleam. Disarming voice. No, I've for some reason I'm thinking that's super effective. Ignore me. I've completely forgotten type advantages, which is really good though in this game. Is it tells you if it's super effective once you kind of um, met this Pokemon before. Oh, you were kidding me. Ooh, it's gonna be close. But we should have this. Cool. That was closer than I wanted. But I'll tell you what's cool as well. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this because I don't have my touchscreen because on this capture card it's a mess. But you get to heal your Pokemon. Yeah, you won't be able to see it. But on the touchscreen, you basically can heal status effects. I'm going to try and... Well, I say I'm going to try and fix the touchscreen. I don't have anywhere to put it on my layout. But, um, yeah, basically, I'll just skip this from now on normally if I have to do this. But all I'm saying is it's very helpful. So Poplio loves me. I mean, you wouldn't see it, but just, just imagine... A happy Poplio. <laughs> like the touchscreen is normally not that useful for Pokemon games. It is for that. Ah, now that wasn't cool at all. Maybe I should aim for being pretty instead. But fine, whatever. Good, good luck with that, mate. Okay. I can admit it when I beat. I'll give you a reward even. Ooh, technical machine. What we're getting? Work up. Well, that's the first one. I mean, that makes sense. But why work up? I mean, work your way up, I guess. Ooh, and I need to stress, like, how many people... Um, mentioned in the comments that Nebby meant Nebula and like you're completely right but how did I not realize that I've I've no idea it's kind of painful well James please come to the office on the second floor what terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon what should we do nothing I've got nothing that's what you say oh Lily I'm sorry Lily look at you with a sass Lily jeez damn well fair enough We've only just met her, so she doesn't have to believe us, I guess. Um, now this, ooh, I feel like she wants a battle. I'm gonna heal Mr. Poppers first. That should do. 
And that should do. We can always use potions in battle if we need to. Although if she heals my Pokemon, I'll be annoyed. Yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. We can beat her. Alright. Uh, I'm going to put my uh, lessons to practice against Teacher Emily. We should be good. Mag oh, no. Magnemite. And I've got one Pokemon who's not on full health against an electric Pokemon. We'll, we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. <laughs> it's not a good start. We're going to have to use a potion already. At least we've got lots of them, but that's not good. We can take another hit. Okay, we can take another hit, which means we can get this out of the way. We should be good. Unless the next one's like a Magnemite as well. I have faith. Well, just as long as it's not super effective to pop there. Anything else will be fine. Meowth, we're good, we're good. Right. Lola Meowth, pretty cool Pokemon. Um, still probably prefer regular Meowth, but... Oh, what? Did I flinch? I must have. That, I was going to say, that's got to be a crit. Back to potions we go. You, you see how this isn't as easy as X and Y? Mainly because your starters are ridiculously slow. In fact, just Alolan Pokemon in general, very slow. Which kind of means most Pokemon go after, uh, before you even, and you normally go after unless you've got a really high level. So that's what I like. I mean, your levels are never too high. You've normally got like the right level compared to where you are in the game and like what trial captain you have to verse. So all in all, it's a very well balanced game. So that is, I, I'd say the main part of the tutorial done. Like the f the first three or four episodes are kind of like tutorial based. Once you get off this island, that's when the fun really starts. Know your Pokemon and know their moves. Those are the basics of being a trainer. How about it? And this is the first captain. Captain Il Ilmir? No. Wait. Ilima. Ilima here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You look so very delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is James who moved here to Alola from the Kanto region. He's got a real sense for how to use moves and I think he's going to go far as a trainer. Yeah. I see. Then welcome newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held in Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Ilmu. Wait, I, need, I keep forgetting the name. Elima. I always thought it was Ilmir or something. That's what I kept saying in all my like news videos and stuff about him. You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass in Hawali, Hawali City. Oh no, Hawali City is the city we're in. Perhaps you'll want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. That is true, because we're after that Pichu. Um, so we can get an Alolan Raichu one day. Right, the Tauros should be gone. Basically, like I said, I want to speed through this. I want to get past the tutorial. This is the boring part. We want to build this team up. We want to become the champion of the Alola region. And we will. It'll take time. Now, I need to... Um, I know this sounds very bad. I need to think of a question of the day on the spot. <laughs> so, I will say... What is your favourite Alola Pokemon... Just in general, it doesn't have to be starters, it doesn't have to be legendaries, well it could be anything you want. I'm just saying it doesn't have to be one or the other. You can include starters or legendaries in if you want, that's what I meant to say. Um, since we've come this far together, why don't I show you some more of the city? Come on, there's lots to see. What I will say in terms of my favourite Pokemon is very difficult, there's loads. I really like Lycanroc midday form, I really like Mimikyu, I think Mimikyu might just be my favourite. But it changes all the time. Cosmog is there. James, over here. Maybe Cosmog. Like, if I had a Cosmog plushie, then probably be my favourite. It's just so adorable. You know, I was really impressing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. And even back when you weren't yet a Pokemon trainer, James, you were able to save Nebby. You were chosen by your Pokemon so quickly, I understand why now. Wait, is Taurus still here? Yep, Taurus is still... Oh, but Howl's here. It's all good. And the Kahuna... Hala. Is it Hala? Yeah, Hala. 
Oh, if it isn't Lily and James. Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time I get old Taurus back home. Oh, but why don't you give him a little pat first, James? Really? Okay. That doesn't seem dangerous at all. We, we safe? I think so. <laughs> you see that? This rascal already loves you. I mean, if you say so, I don't think he does, but sure. Pokemon become happier when we show them some care. Is it go okay, cool. We can go through here. So, in the meantime, if it lets me, I'm going to look for that Pichu. Takahuna is sure of something, eh? Able to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Tauros plenty and all, but it's pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. Well, suit yourself, mate. I will. So well, where are you two off to now? I was thinking I should show James around Howley City a bit. Nice idea! You're always on top of things, Lily. He's such a third wheel. I'm sorry. James just got here to Alola, huh? Then let me tag along too. I want to go get something to eat. Yeah, you can um, go to... What are they called? Mal... Mal... Salad or something? Stores? Where you can buy, like, some snacks for your Pokemon. I don't know what they're called. I've never even had one in my life. Oh, how? I guess we should go catch up with him before he gets too far, James. See, that's quite ironic coming for you, Lily. You always walk off without me. So this is the biggest city in Alola. I forgot that, actually. It is pretty big, but in comparison to, like, the really big cities in, like, Pokemon Black and Pokemon X and Y, it doesn't feel that big, which is quite nice, to be honest. It's a nice change. But I think we're, we're thinking about Hawaii. This is based off Honolulu, which is quite nice. So it is daytime. Even though it's Pokemon Moon, it is daytime, which means it's late recording for me. But it's, uh, it's pretty good. Slowpoke getting into the action there. That woman. Fair play, man. Beach time, yeah! I thought you were going to get something to eat, unless you're fishing. What does she want? Hey, you! You've come to Alola from some place far off, haven't you? I can tell. Um, how very pleasant of you to say so. And let me teach you the proper way to greet someone in Alola. Alola! Oh, I see, so we're kind of doing the, the waving action. It's like imagination from Spongebob, that's what it reminds me of. You give it a try too, just like that. Alola, you'll make more friends if you say it. Do we... Like, I never see my character... Okay, no, we do it there. I think that's only for that part. We don't really need to go to the beach. Uh, luckily, actually... Again, I can't really show you. On the touch screen, you get a an icon telling you where to go, which is very helpful because this game can be quite big at times in terms of you don't know where to go. You're going back and forth a lot. Hey, James! I thought I recognised the sound of those feet. How you are a wondrous child. How you recognise the sound of someone's feet, I will never know. So what do you think? How Ollie is something, eh? Alola's got to be the best place ever to live. I wouldn't put it past it, to be honest. It's very nice. Oh, yeah. Hey James, come here with me. I've got a good idea of something you could do. What is this place? Is this like a, a souvenir shop? Hey miss, is it true that you can get some kind of special gift if you have a Rotom Dex? My goodness, you get the news fast. Hardly anyone has a Rotom Dex, but it is true that we have a special item to go with it. It's our very own Poker Finder. Oh, so this is the camera. Um, it's kind of hard to find the spots where to take pictures, but I found a few, and it's really cool. You, you can kind of upgrade it as you go along, the more photos you take, and then you get like things to zoom in. Just zoom in general. You, you get more zoom, the more upgrades you get. So it's definitely worth taking a few pictures. But the pictures that come out are really fuzzy. I, I honestly don't know why. So I'm not sure if that's because of how it's compressed in the Pokemon game, but they don't look good, which is really weird. So I might as well just screenshot my gameplay for better pictures. The photos you can snap of Pokemon with a Pokefinder they're simply too cute to resist. We will f we will test it out now, actually, because there's something around the corner. If I'm pretty sure there is, yeah. James, how? Did you visit the Taurus Bureau? How was it? We got his Rotom Dex upgraded. Now it can take pictures, too. What a wondrous helper you are, Rotom. Oh, it's not like how did anything for us, really. Oh. That is, uh... I want to see that reaction. Lily does not look impressed. Huh? <laughs> what was that for, Rotom? 
Go and put that little trickster back in your bag, James, and follow me. Enough feasting for the eyes. It's time we take care of our stomachs. Now this is the weird sweets dessert place. I don't even know what it's called. But yeah, let's go um let's quickly test it out. Because I'm pretty sure there's a wall down here. Oh. Well, I think he will show it ourselves. Well, he's gonna show it for us anyway, this guy. You lucky kid. If you've got a poke finder, then I guess I'll give you a little tip. It's through there. You can take a picture of I think it's a Pikachu. I remember them showing that in the trailer. Let's give it a go, guys. Look at my artistic flair and merit. So we can't zoom at the moment, unfortunately. And you can have gyroscope on, so you can move it around, like move my 3DS at the moment. And that isn't too bad. Do I normally turn it off? But that was a good picture. We'll just spam it, because we're not going to get any better pictures. Will it be able to... Will you guys be able to see it? Yeah, so... You, look how fuzzy they look. They don't look good, do they? I don't know why it's like that. We'll just say this is the best one. So what are the comments saying? I've seen one that says... Um, like... 7.8 out of 10, too much water. Like, because you get negative comments on your pictures. I find that hilarious. Because if you guys don't know that quote, it's basically an IGN review for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They gave it a 7.8. They said it was too much water, which... I'm not sure if I agree with that or not. There was a lot of water in the Hoenn region, but you can't have that as a minus point for a game, surely. But anyway, we are going to go capture a Pichu. Now, this could take a while. I think they're quite rare, so I'm just going to have a look around for them. And when we find one, I will cut back, unless this ain't one. An Abra. No, that's definitely not what I was expecting. There we go, oh my god, finally. Guys, I have been searching for Pichu for around, I'd say 30 minutes, which is like longer than the episode I recorded, so just get in the ball, Pichu, uh, Pichu even. So that's good news, finally. I, I've been so frustrated. I Oh wow, okay, level three. Didn't think it would break through that. I don't want to attack this thing, I can't really. Um, yeah, I've been searching for so long, I was getting so frustrated, I was just about to give up as well, literally about to change my location, because I was hunting in the city, and then apparently you can get them up here as well, and I thought, oh, I'll probably find them up here, and I've been here longer than I was in the city, so they are very difficult to find. It's probably worth it if you want an Alolan Raichu, it's worth the pain. Just get in the ball, Pichu. Hey, there we go. So Pichu is our second Pokemon. Now, unfortunately, he is level 3, which means we'll kind of have to do a bit of leveling up, a bit of grinding, if it wants to be any decent on our team. But it should be fine. I'm sure it'll become a fantastic Pikachu eventually, and hopefully an even better Raichu. Should we give it a nickname? No. What I'm going to do, guys, if you ever want to nickname a Pokemon on my team, um, just let me know in the comments below, because I'm terrible with nicknames, but I don't mind... If, if someone suggests a really good nickname, then I don't mind taking it. But, right, let's continue on. I'm just going to heal up my Pokemon, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, our Pokemon are healed, so now it's time to continue where we left off. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Ooh, is it... yeah, Lily. At the clove shot. Oh yeah, we can customise our character. Should we do that? I think I might save that for the next episode. So James, tell me, do you pick out all your own clothes? Um, of course I do. Of course, most people do, don't they? I've, I've always just worn the clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. I don't really know what kind of thing would suit me. Oh, but that's not why I stopped you. I meant to give you this, James. What did we get? I didn't even buy anything, but they said I was at 99,999th customer to visit a store. Surely you get something on 100,000, but... I mean, I'll take the free stuff. Lens case. Okay, so that is for, like, if we want to change our eye colour, I think. Right. On to the next place. Now, we can customise our character. But I think I might... I'll probably do that off-screen. And just kind of move on with the story. So we'll do that next episode. Or I'll customise my character next episode. What's going on here? 
I saw those Team Skull numbskulls loitering around the marina again. I reported it to Captain, of course. This is what happens when young people have nothing to do and too much on their hands. They have too much time on their hands. What a bunch of useless folks. What they do is drag trainers into battles they don't want and try to steal people's Pokemon. Now, Team Skull are pretty interesting. I do like their their music's fantastic. Like their intro music, well, the battle music. Just everything about them really cool. Um, in terms of how they are, in terms of other teams, such as Team Rocket, Team Magma, Team Plasma, Team Aqua, stuff like that, I don't know where I'd compare them. They're so much better than Team Flare. Team Flare were terrible, in my opinion. I just didn't get what they were fighting for. How's it, James? If you're looking for good eats, you found them. Plus, Malis okay, it's Malisada. Plus, Malisada makes your Pokémon like you, and affectionate Pokémon are better in battle. Who could resist giving their Pokémon a few Malisada, eh? They're just so cute. Now that I got some t uh, some fuel on me, I want to go right down to the marina and scream out loud. Watch me, Tutu. No. Watch me, world. I'm going to beat even my old Gramp someday. So I think someone mentioned in the comments that Tutu in Hawaiian means Grandpa, which is so Hal's referring to Hala, who's the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. And I think he just wants to kind of overtake him. Right, so here we go. This is Captain... Elima, I was just about to say Ilmia then. Greeting, it's me, Captain Elima. <laughs> I almost said it wrong again. Elima. Yo, 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 check it. Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull don't even greet you. Oh, this is going to be fun to kind of like talk rap. Ready, I need to get in the swing of things. Yeah. So, Cap, just give up the Pokemon, yo. Oh, you from the trainer school. Already made your way to Hawali, hmm? Well, that's what it was dabbing them. What? What? Why are you trying to act hard when we're already hard as a bone out here, homie? Yo, ch let's check these fools. Who even speaks like I guess they're kind of chavs, I guess. Oh my. How terrifying. Only thieves steal po uh, people's Pokemon. I won't stand for it. James, wasn't it? I'll ask you to take care of that one. I'll get rid of this one. Yeah, th that should be easy. They, like, they look... Like I could take these guys. They just I don't know. I think they're all talk and no walk. If anyone still says stuff like that. But yeah, Team Skull, um as I was saying, decent team. I actually kinda like them. Their motives uh, are a bit underwhelming, I guess, compared to past teams, but I don't know, I like it. So what I will say, um, because I picked Poplio. Poplio is so, so good against Team Skull. Like ridiculously good because they learn obviously fairy type moves and you can learn psychic for pop uh, for like pre marina which is popular's final but that basically means taking on a lot of team skulls pokemon are very easy later on in the game so definitely worth getting a poplio but as i said to be honest actually the other starters are really good as well for real over already yes damn right it is Team Skull, you never stood a chance against Poplio. No fair! I was playing a different game! Why are you playing Pokemon Sun, mate? Ah, oh, witty bands, good joke. Let's get up on this port, B. Nobody has to know about this. We don't need your whack Pokemon anyway, Lima. Did I say that right? Yeah, I did say that right. I keep thinking I say it wrong, it's just the weirdest name. Again? Oh my, how terrifying. Alright, that's. Pretty much Team Skull in a nutshell, this game. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? Sure thing, I guess, yeah. I won't turn down free healing. I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer school. Professor Kuki brought you along, and you and your Pokemon seemed to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. Very well then, allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Oh, they want to battle. I think we will save that, guys, for the next episode. I will definitely take them on, obviously, because one, you have to, but two, I feel like we're out of time for this episode. Guys, if you did enjoy this episode of Pokemon Moon, definitely leave a like down below, always appreciated. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Pokemon Sun and Moon, then hit the subscribe button down below. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you on the next video. Peace!